people don't talk about a lot is you hear don't use heat because you'll get heat damage um, don't color your hair because you'll get color damage but what about hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be sharing with you my damaged hair along with what i'm going to do now to revive my curls how i got the damage and yeah what i'm gonna do moving forward so if you guys want to see then go ahead and stay tuned and i want to give a shout out to princessa curls thank you so much girl for following me um if you guys want a shout out in the next video all you got to do is either screenshot the video and post it to your story and tag me i'm at lexi marcella on instagram um that you're watching the video that you're loving it whatever um but make sure you tag me or what you can do is leave a comment in the description box with any type of pink emoji and you'll be entered to get a shout out in the next video but also if you see some flaking i used got to be on my edges the other day and it's just kind of flaked and yeah but i thought i would get i don't know i don't need to make this video but I just felt like it is important for me to make it because I know a lot of people, especially when my hair was longer, I would always get comments like your hair is gold, your hair is perfect, I wish I had your hair, but I'm not perfect and neither is my hair. Basically, after I straightened my hair this last time, I noticed I got heat damage. But I don't think it's the heat damage from straightening my hair. I think it made it worse, like it was the straw that broke the camel's back, right? I think that's kind of what happened. I will show you guys the damage. So it is like, do you see this? This area, it's kind of like this front section of my hair. It's not as, let's see, it's not as curly as it once was. Like it's just my roots in this area are stretched out compared to the rest. So I guess you can kind of tell here how normally my hair will get really curly at the roots, but here it's straight and then it goes curly. If you don't know, that's how you know usually you have damage when your hair is straighter and then it curls, or if your ends are straight and the rest is curly, that's how you can kind of tell. You can just kind of see how in here it's super curly, my roots are nice and curly, but here it's straight. So it's kind of just this little tiny section and the hair here feels a little bit crunchy, it feels a little bit crispier compared to the rest of my hair. So how I got it. So you guys know, I only straighten my hair about once a year. I don't straighten my hair a lot. I think that it's okay to straighten your hair once in a while. Um, obviously just taking the right precautions, being careful. But last summer, if you guys kept up with me, last year, I was in the sun a ton. I went to Las Vegas maybe four times last year. Definitely I went a ton the year before that too. I also live in Southern California. I love the beach. The summer is my favorite time of the year. I have a pool in my backyard. I'm in the sun a lot and if I don't think you guys can ever pick it up on camera but if you were to like see me in person the top area of my hair here is lighter than the rest of my hair so I doubt the camera will pick it up I'll put a picture up because there was a picture on Instagram I did kind of see it in the picture but it's just kind of like something that can't get picked up here on camera but basically this area is lighter and it's lighter from the sun my hair color isn't black it's dark brown so it definitely turns lighter in the sun i was actually born blonde i had blonde hair growing up and then it turned sandy brown and then it tur turned dark brown so my hair naturally reverts to a lighter color very easily and one thing people don't talk about a lot is you hear don't use heat because you'll get heat damage um, don't color your hair because you'll get color damage but what about the Sun pretty much um, if you've watched my video on my hair journey or my hair coloring journey I have done a, ta a lot to my hair I've done a ton of things to my hair the way I have the way my hair is I can do a lot to my hair until it like is like at its breaking point which is what is happened here because honestly how do I get damage at my roots 
it just doesn't really make sense how I would get damage here at my roots when my ends are healthy. Normally it's the other way around. So pretty much what I've come to the conclusion is from being in the sun, it just has fried my hair. Um, and then using heat on it for straightening my hair, it kind of just pushed it over the edge. And I could just tell because this area of my hair is a lot lighter compared to the rest. And then I do have some breakage here, which this area this area is kind of like also kind of heat damagey. It's kind of not as curly. I don't know if you can really pick it up or not. But yeah, because when I go out in the sun, I mostly wear my hair up into a bun. I pull it up into a bun like this. So this part of my hair is exposed to the sun a ton, a lot of sun, very hot sun. So I think that that's just kind of where my hair was like, okay, we're done. We're done. You hit your breaking point. We're done. We're stressed out. So, well, what I actually have been doing lately is in my wash and goes, and if you guys want a video of this, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment box down below. But what I've been doing is just two strand twisting this section. Sometimes I don't, majority of the time I don't. I haven't been hiding that I have heat damage. It's in every video. I'm not, I don't care. Um, yes, it kind of like sucks. Like, oh, that sucks that this area is straight, but it's what happens. It happens. It's not the end of the world. So I have been two strand twisting this just to hide it. But in order to kind of gain my hair back, honestly, once your hair has been damaged, it's kind of already damaged. You can't reverse your damage. But what you can do is hide it, and that's kind of what I mean by doing my two strand twists, but also just nourishing it so that it doesn't get worse. Um, so what I have been using is my favorite deep conditioner, and I'll just make sure to concentrate it there. I know a lot of the times when you're doing your hair, you concentrate on your ends, you concentrate on like um, maybe like the back of your head, wherever you kind of have more damage, maybe like the top of your hair. But for me, I will focus my deep conditioner right here. And the one that's my favorite is the Manuka Honey from Shea Moisture. This is the Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I love this stuff. This is probably my third or fourth jar of it. I love this deep conditioner. It's really, really good. Another thing that I am using now, this, this product was sent to me for free, but I love Briogeo products products. This is the Don't Despair Strengthening Treatment Oil. So this is definitely for damaged hair to help strengthen your hair. So I have been using this along with my intensive mask. And also what I'm going to start doing too is putting this in my hair um, underneath my gels and my leave-ins. I'm going to put this in my damage area just to help strengthen the hair there. Um, and this smells absolutely lovely. It smells so good and it's super cute because there is literal like rose petals in here that are really, it's just such a cute bottle, such a cute package. It smells heavenly. Will I stop straightening my hair? No, I'm gonna still straighten my hair probably about once a year. I like to cut my hair when it's straight majority of the time to trim it, get my dead ends off. Um, I just, I'm not against it. I do it all the time. So I will continue to straighten my hair. Moving forward, I'm probably going to try to protect my hair a little bit better in the sun. So I never would wear hats, but now I probably will start wearing hats in the sun. Maybe wearing a scarf or a bandana or something. I need to venture away from the bun because the bun is just my go-to and I need to protect this hair up here better than what I've been doing. So I don't know. I'm curious to know what remedies do you guys have? What works for you? Um, are you recovering from damage? Would you like for me to do a video on my two strand twist, my new wash and goes, how I hide my damage? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.